Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today I'm going to talk about why coding isn't actually hard. Now, a lot of the times in my videos and across my social media as well, I've had so many messages from people asking, you know, I really want to get into coding, but I think it's too hard. And I thought I'd create a video today just explaining why I personally don't think you should look at coding as hard. I don't think you should have that outlook. I think the thing with coding is a lot of people immediately, before they even start, think this is going to be hard and therefore I'm going to struggle. And I think the best thing you can do is get out of that mindset and I'm going to talk through some things today that I personally have found helped you know for me I have found coding hard at times today I'm going to cover the question is coding hard because that is one of the most asked questions I get throughout all of my social media people don't want to start because they think it's hard and I want to try get that misconception away from everyone because coding is for me anyway and it may sound a little bit I suppose nerdy but coding to me is is beautiful because I think you can do some absolutely incredible things through code. And I would just love for other people to have the same opportunity as me and you know, be able to find these cool things and, and do tutorials along with me and find out you know, coding is actually incredible. And a lot of the reason people don't start is because they think, well, it's too hard for me, therefore I can't start. So today I'm going to answer the question, is coding hard? And the first thing I'm going to say is no, it's not. As I've said, this is a massive misconception by so many people. People see all of these different programming languages. They think, well, which one do I learn? You know, I've, I see people with 10 years experience in the field. They're doing these incre incredible things. I won't be able to do that. You know, I can't start. I'm too scared by it. And that's one of the main reasons people don't start is because they're incredibly daunted by the fact that there are so many different programming languages about. There are so many people with different you know, varying levels of expertise. And the one thing I'll say is don't let that discourage you. My best kind of analogy that I would give, and it can be a little bit of a you know strange analogy to use, but it's like if you were baking a cake, let's say for example, you know, for me, I'm not an expert baker. You know, I, I would probably consider myself quite a beginner baker. If I was to bake a cake and I made it, I put hours into baking it, and you know I, I made it and I finished it and it was there in front of me I wouldn't then go oh well let's say Mary Berry I don't know if people know who Mary Berry is but she's a, <laughs> a professional baker um, let's say I compare my cake to one she's made I'm not then gonna go well this cake is rubbish Mary Berry's is so much better I'm gonna throw it away and that is the attitude a lot of people have with coding they'll be a beginner they'll say well I've made this bit of code here and then they'll compare it against other people's code and think, well, it's rubbish, therefore, you know, I have to start again. And one thing that's so important to remember, if you are a beginner, and this is something that I kind of realised as I kind of went through my coding journey, there are so many ways of doing the same thing in Python. As a beginner, you will do things a specific way, and then as you increase your knowledge, you'll, you'll do them a completely different way. And you'll look back on it and think, oh, okay, so... I understand why my mindset was in that place to begin with and now it's at a different place because I've progressed. That's really worth remembering. There are so many different ways of doing the same exact thing in Python that you don't need to compare yourself against anybody else because at the end of the day, yeah, the code may not be as you know coherent as someone who has 10 years experience in the field, but it works and that's the thing. You have a cake, you can eat it. Do you know what I mean? It may not taste as good as Mary Ray's cake, but you've put time and effort into it and it's not worth throwing it away because you're comparing yourself to somebody else. Now, the best piece of advice I can give if you are finding, you know, if you think coding is hard, is starting with a relatively easy programming language. So a lot of people will make the kind of mistake of looking at a coding language and thinking, oh, it does these things, like this is incredible. I want to learn this coding language. And they'll probably choose one of the hardest programming languages to learn. The best thing you can do is start with a programming language like Python, which is what I teach on this channel, and build your basic knowledge around you know, how it works. Because if you choose a programming language that is relatively easy to pick up, it's gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to you know, eventually moving on to another programming language. And the thing as well is, I teach Python on this channel because Python is not one of those languages where it's only for beginners, not at all. Python is one of the leading programming languages for things like artificial intelligence and things like that. So it is one of the best programming languages and it's personally my favourite. So that's why I teach that programming language on my channel because it's so incredibly easy to pick up as a beginner. It's one of those that you can put, if you persevere with it and you are finding it difficult, you will eventually get it. And it's also one of those that 
you can do some incredible things with it and that's obviously what I'm trying to show on this channel for beginners is you can do such amazing things with with Python. As I said all you need to do is just persevere with it. Start somewhere and keep going. Don't put any pressure on yourself. Just enjoy the process. Enjoy what you're doing. To begin with I'd encourage you to just enjoy the finer little things in coding. You know something as simple as printing two numbers in Python. I just think when I was first beginning I was like whoa like it, you know I can do it on a word document but cool I'm doing it in actual you know Python programming and programming it's cool and I think if you enjoy the little things to begin with your coding journey will then get so much more interesting to you for me I, I love something as little as you know a turtle drawing I think it's incredible that you can draw these little turtle you know these drawings uh, using Python and then obviously then when you increase your Python knowledge and you do some bigger things, you know, like making games out of using the turtle module, it's something that you are amazed by and, you know, you think it's incredible. So that's a little bit of an overview of why I've said no and, you know, I've explained why I've used the analogy of baking, which is a bit of a poor analogy. I know, but hopefully it will kind of resonate with some of you that you don't need to have all of this experience. You just start. That's the best thing you can do is start and persevere with it. Now I'm going to move on to a couple of things that if you have already started and you're struggling hopefully these things will help you maybe understand why you are struggling. So obviously as I said one approach you can take if you are finding it hard is make sure you're doing a programming language that is deemed one of the nicest ones you can learn as a beginner. I recommend Python personally and that's why I do my tutorials on Python because it is really nice to pick up. Make sure you're only learning one to begin with if you are a beginner because if you have so many different programming languages they are so different to each other you will get massively confused. So stick to one, stick to one that is deemed one of the nicest ones to learn and just keep going with it. As I said, don't go for ones that are harder because at the end of the day, if you grasp the basics of a programming language that is one of the nicer ones to learn, when you move on to another programming language, you'll have grasped the fundamentals of coding in general. And so when you move to another programming language, you'll be like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is what to do if you're hating it. So I'm going to be completely honest with you and say that when I first started learning how to code or when I first kind of got introduced to coding, I hated it. Honestly, I was introduced to it through kind of a module at university. The way that it was taught to us was through Jupyter Notebooks, which I think confused me massively. As I said, I learned coding on a module at my university. So I studied maths at university and the way that it was introduced to us was very much here is a Jupyter Notebook. You will do these mathematical operations which is great, you know, it's nice being able to see that you can do things in coding, but I think I was introduced to it under the pressure of, you must get these assignments done, you must do X, Y, Z before the next workshop, you must do this, you must do that. And because I was under the pressure of university, it took away the enjoyment of coding for me. So that's something I'm gonna say is, make sure you're not putting too much pressure on yourself. Learning anything, regardless of whether it's coding, can be stressful you know if you have the added pressure from yourself to say well I must do this I must do that it's going to make your coding journey much less enjoyable so the best thing you can do is don't put pressure on yourself create an environment where you have no pressure for me what I found was yeah to begin with I, I didn't enjoy it as much and then I thought well okay well I'm going to go find the things in coding that I do enjoy I like Python I'm going to see what kind of things I can do in Python so that's when I started teaching myself how to code in Python and some of the kind of basic operations in Python aside from my degree. And what happened there was I was learning outside of a pressured environment. So a university, pressure, you need to do this, you need to do that. Away from it, I thought, well, it doesn't matter if I don't say, you know, I want to learn loops tonight. It doesn't matter if I don't get loops finished tonight, I can do them again tomorrow. I think you need to make sure you don't put too much pressure on yourself to learn things like that because something that I'll say with a coding journey is it takes time to pick things up. I, you know, I know that as a beginner, some people will pick it up quicker than you and some people will take less time. You could be in the middle, you could be anywhere on that kind of spectrum of really easy or really hard. The best thing you can do with it is persevere and just keep the mindset of, I'm not putting any pressure on myself, I'm just gonna do the best that I can. And that is the best that you can do when it comes to learning how to code. Don't put any pressure on yourself. Now another thing if you are hating it, a lot of the time the environment that you're working in, obviously I've touched upon pressure, but the way that you learn affects, you know, how effectively you learn essentially. So for me I'm definitely a visual learner, that's why I created this platform because I found that a lot of the resources online are reading and obviously the issue with that is 
I don't learn as well if I read something. I learn much better if I watch someone, you know, code and do it along with them. So that's why I created this platform to try to get some more videos out there for people that are like me and are visual learners. But that's what I'm going to say is make sure that you're learning in a way that is appropriate to you. If you are a visual learner, then go watch YouTube videos. Find videos, you know, find resources that work for you. If you are better at reading, then find resources that, you know, talk you through how it works through text. That's kind of a massive thing with, with people when it comes to learning how to code because everybody learns different. It's like when you go to revise a module, if your friend is doing it one way, a lot of the time I think, well, I don't do it that way because that's not the way it works for me. And it's just finding the correct way that you learn. And you know, you could say two of you, say you and your best friend are learning how to code and they're reading this book and this book and this book. And you're reading these books and you're thinking, I don't get it. Try a different way of learning. Try, there are so many different ways you can learn. You can have podcasts that teach you or visually. I personally think visually is really nice because you get to code along with somebody and you feel like you've got that extra sense of achievement. But again, that is completely different for other people. So the moral of that point is finding the best way that you learn. And that is really, really important. So the final point that I'm gonna come on to is why you need to stick with it. So like with anything, if you give up too soon, you'll never know how capable you could have been. So I could have well easily have said, coding isn't for me when I learned at university with that given module, gave up with it, you know, said enough's enough, I don't want to learn it anymore. And I would never be here now, I'd never be teaching these videos to people, you know, I think a lot of the time people give up really, really easily and that's purely because they think, well, I can't do it, therefore I'm, you know, a lot of it is, I suppose, stubbornness. <laughs> you know, I've been there, you think, well, I can't do it, therefore I'm just not going to do it ever again. And the thing is, you need to just stick with it. Some days you'll have really, really bad days and, you know, it might be that you're really, really struggling. But a lot of the time it's, you know, the situation you're in. You know, for me, if I, if I try and learn something when my brain's at full capacity, I can't do it. You know, you need to find the right balance between when you learn um, and not to put too much pressure on yourself. Like I said, you just need to stick with it. The best thing that I find about coding is if you don't put any pressure on yourself and you say, okay, well, I'd quite like to learn coding, you know, within the year. You put the pressure on yourself then immediately to say, I'm going to do it within the year. The best thing you can say is, okay, well, I'm going to learn how to code. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself. I'm going to give myself maybe an hour every week, just watching some videos, trying to learn it. And the thing with that is if you don't put a time pressure on it, obviously you're saying an hour a week, you can relax that. You can say, well, maybe I'll do more some days and some weeks if I'm busy, I won't do it. But the thing with not putting a time constraint on it is that you can then focus your time on areas that you're struggling with. So like loops, for example, loops can be quite a hard thing to grasp in Python. So when I first started learning, it took me a little bit of time to understand what was going on. So I watched loads of videos on it and that's fine. The best thing you can do is just don't put any pressure on yourself keep sticking with it if you do you learn a res you learn by a resource and it doesn't help you go find another resource because a lot of the time it just depends on how you pick up things best some resources will be better than others some videos will be better than others it's all just you know keep persevering and the good thing with tech and the coding industry is yes there are a few that will charge you money i would avoid those at all costs unless you are very committed but the best thing you can do is just find free online resources there are loads and just kind of find the ones that are best for you. And as I said, just stick with it. Because when things aren't working out, it's so easy to just give up and feel disheartened and think, well, I'm not gonna do it. And that is what you should not do, okay? So that's one thing I'm gonna say, that's what you should not do. You just need to stick with it. Don't put any pressure on yourself and then just, and just enjoy it. That is the best piece of advice I can give. Just enjoy the process and try and look at the kind of finer things with with coding that's kind of what what i figured out anyway i think when you watch some of my videos you'll see that i'll be there going oh wow this is so cool and to other people it may not be that cool but to me it's it's cool because i love tech you know i hated i absolutely and this is the thing that i'm going to say i hated it to begin with i absolutely hated it i had to do assignments on it at university i hated it it was one of the worst modules that i did and then i changed the environment i worked in i looked at things i was genuinely interested in and it got to a point where I was like, wow, I love this. So, you know, here is a person, me, who has hated it to begin with and is now doing YouTube videos to teach people. You know, it's okay if things, you know, you are struggling or you, you are finding things hard. But the main principle behind this video is, 
if you are finding it hard there are ways that you can overcome that i want people that watch this video to to love tech because it is so incredible and the things you can do with it are absolutely amazing so i hope this video has been helpful to those of you that are wondering whether coding is hard and what to do if you are struggling i hope it has been helpful uh, please let me know if it has and if you kind of want to see any other videos or honest opinions like this i understand this has been quite a chatty video but hopefully you'll have understood that you know there are ways of overcoming things if you do find coding hard and to me i don't find coding hard and that's because i've persevered with it and kind of done the things i've said in this video again everyone is different but hopefully you will have found this video useful and i hope that you know you do develop that passion for tech and once you do then the world's your oyster you can go and do some incredible things in tech but that is the video today i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please like subscribe and comment and i will see you all in the next video